Hello, welcome to this eGrow instructional video series. This was entitled, How to Correctly Diagnose Insect and Mite Pest Problems. My name is Raymond Cloyd. I'm a research extension horticultural entomologist at Kansas State University in the Department of Entomology. Today we're going to be talking about how to accurately identify or correctly diagnose insect or mite pest problems. The first thing to take into consideration is the symptomatic patterns on the crop. There are three distinct types, random, uniform, and clumped. Insects and mite pests will give you either random or clumped distribution. So when you look over your cropping system, you're looking for areas isolated or spot areas within the greenhouse plants that are dis exhibiting something wrong with them. In the case of it's clumped or random, that's likely to be probably an insect or mite pest. After that, what you can do is you can go up to the plants and then you can take a 16x hand lens and then look under the leaves of the plants. Remember, most insect and mite pests are on the leaf undersides. So you take your 16x hand lens, start looking under a leaf for those various life stages. Again, that'll be either the eggs, larva, nymph, nymphs, pupa, and also the adults. It is important to understand that there are various feeding behaviors associated with insect and mite pests that feed on greenhouse grown horticultural crops. The first one is the phloem feeders. The phloem is the food conducting tissues and this includes aphids, white flies, and mealybugs. The other group are the xylem feeders. The xylem is the water conducting tissues and that includes a number of insects you might encounter in greenhouses such as leaf hoppers. The third one are chewers. That includes things like fungus gnat larvae that feed within on the roots on plants in the growing medium. Then there are the chlorophyll feeders and that includes spider mites, particularly the two-spotted spider mite. And then lastly are the mesophyll and epidermal fluid feeders and that includes the western flower thrips. The reason it's important to know this is because those feeding behaviors will result in distinct symptoms being expressed on plants. For example, phloem feeding insects will cause damage such as plant wilting, stunting, and leaf yellowing. Xylem feeders will cause the same thing. Chewers cause removal of plant parts, and that includes caterpillars and also beetles. The chlorophyll feeders, which includes two-spotted spider mite, will cause damage we refer to as stippling or speckling. And lastly, western flower thrips will cause damage we refer to as silvering. One method that you can use to actually determine or look at, see what's actually on the plant, is what we call the beet method. What that involves is taking a clipboard with an eight and a half by 11 piece sheet of white paper, and then what you do is you place it right underneath the plant, and you basically shake the leaves or branches, and you can see the various insects. You can find thrips, aphids, but also you'll see two-spotted spider mites on the white piece of paper. This gives you an indication of what was probably the organism, insect or mite pest, causing the problem. In addition to the direct damage that both insect and mite pests may cause, you can actually, as we call, indirect damage to determine what's also probably infecting your horticultural crops in the greenhouse. The first one is honeydew. Honeydew is this clear, sticky liquid that's exuded by insects that are feeding on the phloem, and that would include aphids, white flies, and mealybugs. The other indirect one is we call the fecal material, or fecal deposits. Those are caused by caterpillars. Those are small chunks of decomposed plant material that has gone through their body, and whenever you see those in the plants, you know that you have caterpillars feeding on the plant. The other one is we call molting skins. Aphids, as they molt, will shed off their old cuticle or skin, and you'll find these cast white skins that look like white flies on plant parts. So we've mentioned several techniques to determine what insect or mite pests are causing the problem on your plants. The first one is using a 16x hand lens. The second one was using the beet method. And another one is using an inexpensive microscope. So what you can do is you can harvest some leaves of plants that are exhibiting damage. You place them on the landing pad here and you look at the leaf underside. What you want to look for are things like two-spotted spider mite, western flower thrips, and also broad mite and cyclone mite. You can get good magnification by using the ocular pieces and also the mechanisms on the side. Well, that concludes this video. If you want more information, you can contact me. My email and phone number are going to be available at the end of this presentation. Thank you very much.